I was thinking maybe uh, if you've got heat turned on, you've got maybe vibrator, vibration, <laughs> vibrator. <laughs> okay. It's vibrating. So how's the how's the furniture? It's actually really nice. So uh, it's got massage. Come on, I'll take that off. It's got massage and heat, which it, it, but it's got power, um, and it is a power uh, system. And it's got USB port. Yeah, it has right, USB right in. Right, and then it has cup holders. I think it's missing a cup holder oh, yeah. here, but it's got power and then two USB here. And the furniture is comfortable. Uh, and that, I think, is comfortable too. If you want it to keep this, it swivels. This is not power, but you can, I don't know, maybe you had to move it to get it to go back, but it's comfortable just like this. And it's uh, pleather, I don't know. It seems like it would be easy to clean. Yeah. Because it's not cloth, but I can't tell that it's leather either. Yeah. So it does have a in the floor system. It's got a fireplace, which we like our fireplace. It has a sound bar. It has a place for Xbox and some, some gear here. Not all of them do have a place for stuff like that. Uh, it does have a little bit of storage behind. Probably not supposed to be touching the screen, but it's got good storage up top, pretty deep. Um, let me get my handy dandy little thing out to see. Oh, but I can't see it. I'm too short. I can probably do that. 20, 20 inches, basically deep. So that's good storage there, which is good because they need it because the storage in the kitchen is, it's smaller. It does have plenty, it's got some storage down here for some larger items. It's got a large four cooktop stove, which if you, I mean, I only use one <laughs> at a time. I'm basically a one burner gal. Um, this is deceptive, but it is convection. So this whole part right here, I don't know, maybe it's because it's convection. I don't know enough about these. But it does look nice. It's got plenty of counter top space for uh, coffee and um, Instant Pot, things like that. All of your utensils, uh, spice rack, which is nice. This is your one and only drawer. But it comes out really far, which is interesting. Mm -hmm. uh, Right here is a trash can. And then you don't see this very often in a lot of rigs, but KZ in all of their golds has a dishwasher and it has two, that's a lot of dishes. So nice big sink and good space underneath with space for your, uh, oh, that's something. It is soft clothes on all of their items. It's got a really big refrigerator with water and ice in the door, which is great. Uh, I can't, it's got a lock over here, so I can't open that, but um, I don't really think that's super usable space because we're short, <laughs> but you know, they're doing a good job using all of the space that, that 
they can. Uh, there's outlets on either side of the island. We think the island is small. This is about the same size as the island that we have right now and it frustrates me with dishes, but that's because I'm doing dishes by hand. If I'm putting it in here, that might not be that big of a deal, really. Yeah. I don't know about the sink. I don't know about the faucet. I'm not sure. This looks a little not so great. Not super excited about that faucet all that much. But um, pantry is a good size. I think it's. Uh, I don't know why they start the shelf here and not here, but uh, it's 14 inches deep. It's not not adjustable, which I really wish they would make things adjustable. It has one light up here, which would be nice to have a running light down the side. Yeah, it's got a uh, table. This is a lot of space, I think, but you can option a desk here, which is, I, I think we would probably option a desk for this space because we don't really need a dining table. What about the windows? What do you think about the windows? Big. They're, they are big. It's got both the day shades and the night shades. So that's that's nice. Cabinets up above there, cabinets up above there. It also has a ceiling fan. So mid bunk. This is where Jeremy would have his space. So we would take out the bunk and the love seat and have this be a space for Jeremy. Now, would you be able to, it's got a, a lip here. Yeah, we'd have to figure out how to work around that. Yeah. And it does have a decent amount of space in here. It's got a TV. This is where the stairs are on the other side. Uh, so it has a smaller space right there. That didn't feel very soft close, but I guess it is. And space here for storage. Jeremy has a lot of uh, a lot of gear. gear. <laughs> a lot of gear. So I'm gonna look at this to see how I'm gonna put it here. So it's about 74, 74 inches by 33 inches. 74 by 33. And yeah, it's kind of dark. Yeah. Because you don't have a light here. Yeah, they've got a light over on the wall. But okay. So everybody who's come in this rig has said, oh, it's a toy hauler. No, it is not a toy hauler. It just has a patio. So it has a, a sliding door, a patio door. So you only have one door to get out, and, um, and this folds up much like a toy hauler would, but you can't put toys in here. I suppose you could put something in here, but it's not like you could roll a motorcycle or something else up in here. So if you like to entertain outside, or you like to sit outside and, and have uh, something to drink, or have dinner, or a place to leave your dog, maybe this would be nice. Jeremy likes to do yoga all the time. <laughs> you could do yoga I, outside. I will also add, though, that the addition of this wall, <laughs> I think, limits some of what you can do with this backspace, right? You could have more storage right here. You could have a fold-away bed. You could have a desk here, but you can't really with the patio because now you are blocking the door. But I guess you don't have to use the patio. No. You could you block could the door and leave it up and or put a desk here if you wanted. something, a desk here, just not the whole thing. Right. Because, what did I say the measurement was? Let's use my handy dandy little thing. So 99 about 99 yeah, right there. Right, right there. there. 37 didn't bring any cards. <laughs> so, yeah, this is sort of important space. Right? Yeah, because I, I always want to put my coats and shoes. You wouldn't be able to fit a lot of shoes, but at least you have a place to put some coats, which I like. And I'm kind of wondering 
wondering if you could fix this to put shoes because this for us would not be a place for somebody to stay. It would be storage. This would be more Jeremy space. <laughs> more um, camera gear is what this is. So, but uh, it has stairs to go up in there and it's a decent amount of storage space. So, and I'm sure it would be a nice little ramble around for little kids. We just don't have any. Yay! <laughs> So the, they've got the air on and you can really feel it back here. I don't think they have the air on up front. But the bathroom is, so I'm five foot three. So I've got tons of space, right? I've got lots of space. The shower head looks okay. I mean, looks like it's an okay. You've got a seat, you've got space for your stuff. You've got a soft clothes um, lid which is nice. You've got a towel holder here and one on this side, which, why is this one silver? <laughs> That's weird. This is the bronze, and then this thing is silver. Yeah, I, that makes, they probably just ran out. That's what happened. <laughs> a small sink, but that's pretty typical. But look at that. You've got a lot of space for towels and whatnot. It's a lot of, a lot of space there. And then you've got good space under here. You've got more drawers in the bathroom than you do in the kitchen. You've got your water heater setting right here. So you control your control your water heater. And then you've got plenty of space for your medicine cabinet. So it's nice. And a pocket door. This is good space. It's a barn door. Bye-bye. I actually like the barn door. Yeah. Um, CPAP area, but we don't need that. So that means more space for Jeremy to put stuff. Stuff. Uh, it has power on both sides. And it does have a little shelf here, which I, I guess the shelf isn't as big because it's on the slide, maybe. So they want to be careful about the slide coming in. But this could probably even be a little bit bigger but that's good at least you have a place to put your drink or something like that or your phone um, it is a tilt bed which we've never had a tilt bed before so I don't I can't speak to that it does not have cabinets up here which we actually prefer because we've hit our head a bazillion times on uh, the one in our rig and you know, just a kind of plain back uh, headboard again same with both kinds of uh, shades so i think it looks pretty nice back here and closet space is probably what we have now but it's actually top to bottom which we don't have um, and a place for some shoes and whatnot so that's pretty good space i'm surprised that the doors seem like they glide as well as they do and it's lit inside and then of course you can use this as more closet space or we would want a washer and a dryer because I'm tired of going to the laundromat. Okay, I'm tired of trying to shove every piece of clothing in as cheap of a setting as possible. So, some people like this, but we would have to leave it open all the time and just chuck things across the room. Is it chuck or chunk? I always said chunk when I was growing up, but people say chuck. So yeah, we, it would be left open all the time. Otherwise, we'd never get anything in the dirty clothes. So extra space, that's more storage space for your hats and shoes. <laughs> I don't know what else you'd put. We don't have that much stuff. And I, I think it's nice that it has shelves. I don't know what we'd put there. But knick-knack bric-a-brac, possibly. Uh, and then it has... One, two, three, four, five, six. I would say probably more like th four drawers, basically. And then it has a fireplace in here, which we would probably not use all that often because we like to sleep in the cold rather than in the hot. But it already has a TV. Yeah, right? <laughs> Brand unknown. <laughs> I've never heard of a Sensui? Sensui? I don't know. Let's come up with a. If somebody knows the name, they can tell us. <laughs> All right. All right. Where would the dog go? Yeah. I don't know. Look under. Look under the bed. Oh, it's got drawers. We didn't even see that. 
Put the dog right there. Yeah. <laughs> That's nice. So maybe this doesn't. No, it still lifts. Wow. It still lifts up. And now I've done it. There we go. Okay, so you can either have drawers or you can lift it up. It does have a central vac. You see it right there on the wall. All right. And what about the space? Yeah. So from an exterior, you've got uh, you got you're plumbed for gas uh, for uh, for an external grill. Look at this. This is a lot of space. <laughs> That's a lot wow. of space. And this must be there back for the patio. Right. This right. Right. Patio. Right. All right, batteries. so batteries. Got your standard space. See, I like this. They've 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 already, you know, they've already kind of prepped this all in for storage. Uh, you know, some of them, you know, you've got these or you don't, but it's not all, it's not all cleaned out for storage. This is, yeah, this is doable. Plenty of space for your generator. So, here's your Lippert auto leveling. Um, so this is where yep, here's your L LP tank. Okay, other other access. This is just the other side access to that massive so is it, basement. Is it all the way through? Can you do yes. a slide if you wanted to? Oh, I'm sure you could. Probably get a slide. Yeah. Okay. You get that side and I'll get this one. I hit people, sorry. Yeah. Oh yeah, you certainly could. You could do a, a, a substantial slide and still have space on the side. Yeah. You know, you could put up a um, a pegboard over there too. Yep. Yeah. Nice. All right. So here's your Nautilus water panel. Say it's got the uh, the Lippert Rotoflex pin box. And. We need to see how much it weighs. Probably. Right? I think it's right over here. GVWR of 16,000 pounds. So uh, that's definitely within our within our weight limit. So it looks like it does not have any kind of power reel for your power cable. Um, that's okay. Here we are kind of wrapping up uh it, we're talking this is the durango gold kz durango gold 382 mbq it is 40 feet long <laughs> it's pretty big uh dry weight of 13,350 pounds this is the bunkhouse it sleeps eight and has four slides the show price uh, let's start with msrp the msrp on this is showing as 150,872 so 151,000 and the show price here in Tampa is 109,987 so 110 it has a 2 year warranty so right the um, the warranty is it um, full time as well the warranty, this is the only manufacturer for RVs that they make a true two-year bumper-to-bumper warranty for full-time living. Okay. It also has a all-weather insulation package. Right. Um, oh, and then definitely highlight the two massive awnings yeah. out here. It's nice. It's got a tankless water heater. It has, uh, we, we could take out some of the furniture and put in our exercise bike if we wanted to. It has a patio, which you don't see in a lot of rigs. It has, um, you can, can option it with a desk in the, uh, instead of the table, the dining table. Right, right. Uh, it has a dishwasher. Yep. Has a place for a washer dryer as well. It has a tilt bed. It has space on either side of the bed for um, your stuff. Right. It's got a fireplace in here, which we don't need, but where would we put the dog? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's got a hamper uh, in the in the bedroom. Yeah. Uh, the the bed is tilt. I don't know. Did yeah. you just say that? It's so got a lot of space on the on the sides side. on the sides of the bed. Because I'm usually going. Rah, 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 rah. Yeah. Right. One, some of the things we we do look for when we're in the bedroom. First of all, we don't like the over the bed shelves right. uh, because we we might replace the bed mattress with a bigger mattress yeah, and, it's and it's thick and, and we hit our head and yeah. So yeah. this lets us sit up in bed 
and uh, and read or work or do whatever we want. Yeah. Um, it does. So it, it does have on both sides. I mean, we we have to have some place to put our stuff. Yeah. Devices in the bedroom, uh, whether that's a drink or our phone or our watch or whatever, we've got to have those our on journal. both. And we need our journal. <laughs> Um, closet is good. The closet has some good space to it. Um, the uh, maybe the the fireplace takes up a little bit too much room. Yeah. yeah we don't really we don't, need it. we don't really need the we, fireplace. We sleep cold. Yeah. 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 We like to sleep in the cold. In the uh, in the mid bunk, uh, the mid bunk is uh, is pretty well configured for what we're looking for. We can take out the the bunk. Uh, yeah. and we could take out that love that love seat and convert that whole space into a desk and it's got uh, it's pretty good space it doesn't have a ton of storage behind it though so maybe a little bit it has some yeah yeah uh, the it only has one drawer yeah kitchen, kitchen something to consider yeah one drawer and uh, it's not a small it's a small drawer like that big yeah, so yeah. you've got just a little bit of space you do have a pretty I mean I think the island could be bigger and yeah, you, and really, you could have uh, extended that island to give you some more drawer space, which might be something that you option. I say option in you you you, you aftermarket you add to uh, to the, the the rig as a whole. Just put in yeah. uh, you know put in something there, cutting board on top, and you have more drawer space. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The bathroom. The bathroom had lots of storage. Yeah. Really. It's nice. It's. It's nice. It's, it's got, got a decent sized shower, plenty of space for your toiletries and your towels and and all kinds of stuff in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Soft clothes lid. Yeah. Uh, one other maybe uh, that back wall. So it, it it turns into a patio, and I think a patio might be intriguing for a lot of people. I think that you lose space by putting that patio in. We we would like if you saw our new our, our current rig. We've got a, a whole desk set up back there. Well, you can't put a desk back there because you block the door. So whether you've got a desk or you've got a fold-out couch or you've just got more cabinets and storage, that is something you're giving up by having that patio on the back wall. Yeah, true. Dishwasher. Yeah. Um, Does dishwasher. have a dishwasher. Yeah. Nice, nice, good-sized sink. Yep. It's got counter space, enough space to put the Keurig. Yeah, and the Instant Pot. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So overall, what do you think? I, I like it and I like the build. That's something I yeah. haven't seen. You know, they've got soft closed drawers and, and doors and whatnot, which is, you know, just a nicer touch. So it's the, the doors seem like they move okay. So at least <laughs> to start, I mean, we've seen some rigs already that we walked in and went, is this what they're displaying? Like, this is really what they call their nice stuff? Mm. So yeah. yeah, this is a good this is a good floor plan. It's something to uh, keep in mind. Yeah, so we won't cross it off the list. Not being crossed off the list. This one is in our uh, top few. Yeah, top few. Yeah. All right, all right. Catch you soon.